Okay, we're going to do a little bit about uh, with braces right now. I want to show you how I get the curvature on the bottom edge of my braces. The top and the back are going to be curved this way. A variety of different curves. It could be 15, 25, 30 foot, but um, I'm putting a 30 radius on this instrument, which means that this line has to be curved, and it's not, as you can see. This is straight. So if you put this into something that's slightly dished, the center's not going to touch. So we have to get the exact curvature that I want. So I've invented this little gizmo, or not invented it, I guess, just made it, created it. This one has a, a variety of different radiuses, and I'm going to use the edge that has the 30 inch. And if you hold this up, again, I'm not holding the camera, but you can see there's a curve, a very subtle curve along this line. And on my shaper table, I have a bit with a bearing that will ride against the template. So I'm going to take, double stick tape this brace centered right in place. Lean on it good. Then I'm going to come over here and plug in my shaper table. And now, all I have to do is grab these and I'm safely away from the bit. And I just work it back and forth a couple times. And it will uh, just gently carve in the perfect curvature on the end of that brace. I must have unplugged this in more than one space. I did. See that? Can't be too safe, huh? I just dropped some screws on the floor. No big deal. Anyway, we should be able to turn this on now. again. This way. I can't turn it on by mistake. I don't want to go anywhere near that thing while it's plugged in. I take that off the double stick tape. I don't know if you can see that now. But now it has that nice radius and I'll also show you with this disc here. This is a, uh, a matching hollow form. And when I put this here now, you can see that it actually fits the curvature of that hollow form. Whereas the straight side actually doesn't. It touches on the, on the edges, but it's about a quarter of an inch high in the middle because this, of course, is dished to the spherical radius. And that piece that I just created all the way along touches. And that way, when I put it on the back of my guitar, as I have these braces, it'll actually match the curvature. Okay? Sorry for the shaky camera work. It's hard to do everything all at the same time while dealing with an iPhone. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.